Hey guys, can't move my head on this one. So I'm doing an Instagram live uh, using a neck extension device uh, because I can knock two birds out with one stone. So I don't think I'm strange. I think I've been on live before like this. Uh, I just, it's 8.30 p.m. and I just finished FaceTimes because the last two didn't pick up. So that worked out for me, um, but probably my fault for calling them late. So. The Wednesday lesson of the day brought to you from a neck extension device is about eyelashes um, because and eyebrows. Let's talk about eyelashes and eyebrows because I saw uh, four people today. This is like the weirdest thing. Things come in threes and fours and um, I saw a bunch. Ooh, Thomas Mativi, man, we got to go back. <laughs> so uh, eyelashes and eyebrows. So I'll go over eyelashes first and the things that we saw. Uh, the eyelashes, just so people realize, uh, they grow in a couple rows coming across the eyelid margin on the upper and lower lids, and usually the uppers, as everybody knows, are a little stronger looking than the lowers. The most common thing to uh, see as you age is that you can lose a couple and they get finer and a little thinner. Um, this happens more in white people um, than it does in Middle Easterns or um, black, Asian, or other cultures. Um, so that's where you see people trying to go and thicken them. The best thing to use uh, over time has been called Latisse. Latisse, uh, which is latanoprost, is a prostaglandin that you put on the up upper eyelash margin and it can grow and thicken the eyelashes pretty nicely. So um, there's another uh, there's another product called uh, Chic, C-H-I-C, uh, -I -C, that's not medical and it actually works really nicely. And look at that. I had a shitty reaction to lash adhesive from extensions a few months ago. That's my next top at Leslie uh, C. Marker. So um, Latisse and Ch Bella Chic or something is uh, a, a really good one to use. Latisse, you just use once a day on the eyelash margin using a brush. The problem from Latisse is people use it on the lower eyelids and then what happens is the resting tone can start to decrease at the lower lid and you have a muscle here that holds the eyelid in. So sometimes it can start to change the shape of the lower eyelid. And this is something that can happen pretty commonly. So you don't wanna use it on the lower lids. Um, another thing that people tend to notice is it can, they, they wonder about, can it change the eye color? Be swirl, good timing. So can it change the eye color? It doesn't do a rapid change of eye color from anything I've heard or seen about, but you can get a little speck of color change from these little things that make your eyes brown, blue, green, or whatever. Mine are caca colored. And so you can get a little area of hypopigmentation. And if that happens, it's not the end of the world. You just stop using it. Rarely you can get irritation from it, uh, from the increased blood supply or whatever happens with it, um, but it's pretty uncommon. If you get it, you stop it, not a big deal. So these are all things where you say it is safe to use and it's fine. Latisse has been used for the hair. I don't have too much of that. And uh, has not really shown any great long-term results with it, although I've heard of some recent studies where they make it differently and it might work, but um, either way, it doesn't work fantastically for that but for the eyebrows. So for somebody who has thin eyebrows, uh, unlike these guys, um, you can actually use it on the eyebrows and there is, I'd say a 50-50 chance that it would help thicken them. But I do tell people to use it on the eyebrows before going to get um, brow implants because brow implants, uh, the, the best guys are probably Tim Nevin and Mark Dower here in LA and brow uh, implants, they, they don't all fully look natural or grow naturally, even though they can be done really, really well. So I, I say always try to use um, those thickeners first. So you can use that and you can actually put Rogaine on them too. And depending on the cause of loss, sometimes it improves it. Rogaine, which is minoxidil, keeps hair in the head in growth phases for longer periods of time, but can also increase blood supply slightly. Uh, so that's another thing that can be used here. So you can put Rogaine and brush it on and then brush your Latisse on at the same time. And um, I'll Alternatively, uh-oh, can't hear me. Oh, this is what my phone does. Mm. All right, let's see. So, can everyone hear me? I think everyone can hear me, hope so. Uh, 
So fantastic. So Grand Lash MD, I haven't heard of, uh, but I'm sure it's fantastic. The um, lower lids, you don't really have much that can work. Uh, so maybe a Grand Lash or a Chic or something uh, works well for that. Um, as far as lash extensions go, so I don't like eyelash extensions in general. Small, tiny ones I like, but I don't like big eyelash extensions. And it's because I'm a guy. Um, and I've never met a guy uh, who likes the big eyelash extensions. So, um, or I don't know, I don't know. So big eyelash extensions, it looks like when you blink, it's like butterflies kind of like flapping in your eye and they always come loose. And well, funny enough, when I do this, it's actually the same people usually have really long fingernails too. So people in general don't love super long eyelashes or super long nails. Like they're fun, I get it, but uh, you know, once in a while. So shorter eyelashes are generally better if you're ever doing them. There's different ways to put them on. Sometimes it goes directly on uh, as one piece. Sometimes there's two pieces and then there's the little fine ones that you put. The little fine ones are usually the best looking. However, there is a pretty substantial allergic reaction rate to the adhesive because adhesive uh, not only can cause an allergy and irritation, but it can clog your little tiny glands and pores there. Um, so don't be surprised if that happens. And if it happens, you just got to take it off and stop using it. You're getting an acute allergic type blepharitis from it. And I've seen this pretty commonly, but people keep using the eyelashes and it'll get both eyes puffy. And if your eyes keep getting puffy and you keep getting blepharitis, uh, eventually you're going to make your wrinkles worse. You will get crusty looking wrinkled skin. So you have to be cautious if you get the allergic reaction to stop using them. Even medical grade uh, adhesive can do that. So um, some, it's just not meant for some people. The other issue with long lashes is that it can worsen ptosis. So ptosis is droopiness of the eyelid from weakness in the eyelid muscles that keep you kind of awake like that. Apneek is the medicine that we've been using uh, for ptosis lately where it just makes your eyes a little more awake. Um, and we can do ptosis surgery too. But let's say you have some pre-existing ptosis and you have a little bit of that sleepy eye look, has nothing to do with hooding. You have a closed aperture because the muscle that holds your eye open is weaker, whether it's the levator or the Mueller's muscle. Uh, if you use long lashes, you're actually putting weight on them and uh, people may not realize how much weight there is to those things. So the long lashes can really put a lot of weight on it. And if you really wanna find out, you can sit up and stare at your eyes and see how it looks and then lay down like I'm looking and then stare at your eyes and see how it looks. If your eyes open up when you lay down a little bit, it might be too much weight on your eyelashes. Uh, so you can take them off and go lighter. So I'm not saying don't put lash extensions because I don't want every girl in the world to hate me. You can use lash extensions. Just go gentle, delicate and tasteful with those things. And if you have an allergy to them, just stop using it, give up and go back to using mascara. Mascara is pretty substantial and what it can do. And then you can always use, as we said, Latisse. Um, do not put Rogaine on the upper lashes. It's gonna irritate the hell out of it. Interestingly, um, again, you can put it here. Do not put it over there, please. Um, I'd say that's the lesson of the day now because I gotta go grab uh, my car that just got a cool exhaust system and go drive it to my brother's house so he can play with it all weekend. And for anybody who thinks that showing off a car is showing off, you just don't understand art. I like art and cars are art. Um, so let's go over a couple questions before I go. What do I think about smoky eyes? I don't mind smoky eyes when people do like stuff. I think it's fun when you play with makeup. Makeup, uh, there's never wrong with, you know, you know, nothing wrong with using makeup uh, because makeup can be taken off. Um, there are certain people uh, certain friends and I tell them you have such beautiful skin you're out of your mind for covering it because part of the I'd say like life of your face comes from that radiance that you see in the skin so uh, I do prefer less makeup overall I'm a bit of a naturalist and some people have such beautiful skin but they cover it with concealer that drives me crazy but makeup is great around brows and lashes because you could always take it off so I would much prefer somebody uh, draws makeup over here in the wrong place rather than tattooing it in the wrong place because some people 
uh, they'll shave their hair here and then tattoo it out over there. And dude, like, you can't do that because you're going to get older and your brow skin's going to come down, but your eye, your brow line is still going to be up. And then you can't lift it ever. And you're going to be heavy, but looking crazy at the same time. So, so I'm not, um, thanks mom. <laughs> All right. Well, good thing when I post this, nobody sees it, but yeah, he is. Um, so Alex Schrader wants to be my sugar daddy. Isn't Ali a girl's name? Um, I think a sugar mama. So let's see any questions we have over here. No questions in the question comment. Uh, will Rogaine help hair loss from Hashimoto's? Hashimoto's um, thyroiditis uh, can, just like any thyroid issue, cause hair loss. Rogaine does not specifically treat that. Um, just to... You know, to tell you again what minoxidil does, it keeps hair in the growth phase for longer and increases uh, the blood supply slightly to the area. So it doesn't specifically treat that. However, anytime you use it, it can help hair loss. But on women, it does have a small, uh, not too small actually. So it can grow facial hair remotely. So even though you're putting it here, you can grow facial hair in other areas. And if that happens, you just got to stop taking it, which is telling you that minoxidil, even though it plays topically here, does spread locally and in your circulation slightly. So um, it can have an effect. What I think about this neck thing really work. Granulomas of Sculptra, love your cars, thank you. Um, my, my neighbor looks like she glued a garden rake to her eyes. Yeah, you don't want to be that person. <laughs> Let's just go delicate here. Let's go easy. Let's go tasteful. Um, any side effects to up Neek? Uh, it's pretty uncommon to have side effects from it, but uh, you shouldn't take it. Use it if you have like a cute angle glaucoma or anything like that. No long nails or eyelashes, people. There you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I think, um, yep, yeah, I think we answered all the good ones here. All right, fantastic. Uh, signing out. I'm going to go take off my head extension device. This is what happens when you operate all day, every day, and. Uh, this is why I'm slowing down on my rhinoplasties because I gotta relax. My neck, it hurts too much. Hope everyone has a fantastic night and I'll post this if anyone is curious. And uh, nothing I say, by the way, is factual. It's kind of me just guessing. So don't, like um, Easy E said, don't quote me, boy. <laughs>